Hi, I'm Jason McDaniel with Olympus Controls, and I'd like to talk to you about CAN Communications for your next automation application. What is CAN Open Communications? It is basically a high-speed communication protocol using a simple two-wire hardware connection. Uh, it has transfer speeds up to one megabit per second, which may sound slow at first, uh, but because the, the protocol stack is so small, one megabit per second actually ends up being very, very fast and plenty fast for most applications. You can have up to 127 nodes of server or stepper amplifiers on your CAN network. So CAN is made up of an SDO and PDO packet uh, using a CAN master as a synchronized clock source for the network. So that is basically what CAN open communications are. Most of our clients know very little about CAN communications. So what I want to talk to you today is about how Copley has provided a, co a COM object library called CMO, uh, Copley Motion Objects, that allow to, you to utilize CAN in a GUI application such as LabVIEW or C++ or what I'll show you today in Visual Basic as a way to simplify CAN communications and so you don't need to know anything about SDOs or PDOs or any type of CAN, CAN communications. You also don't need to learn a new software language. If you have experience in LabVIEW or Visual Basic, for example, you'll be able to take what's provided and just run with it real fast. Okay, now let's, let's look at the Copley hardware that we need to do our CAN open system. We have a Copley Zenus drive here. I'm gonna simply wire in this direct drive servo motor from Parker. We have our motor power. And we have the feedback for the encoder. And we have a 24 volt DC supply for the logic side. So we have that, and now we're going to wire up our can open communications. First, we have our can open master. This is a KVOSR Leaf Lite, has a USB connection. I'm going to take the USB, connect that into my computer. And then on the other side, we have a 9 pin D sub connector, which is typical of can open masters. Using the Copley Network Kit, I'm going to connect the 9 pin D sub together. That has an RJ45 termination, which will plug into one of the can open ports. It can be either one. And now, for example, if we wanted to wire a second unit, we can take another standard RJ45 Ethernet cable, plug it in there, and then plug it into the next unit. On the very last unit of the network, we're going to take a termination resistor, and we're going to plug that in. Now that's all you've needed to do for the hardware, uh, along with AC power for the drive, and that is that is everything. So now we can move on to connect up using the Visual Basic and the CMO object library using the KVOS or USB connection. And I'll show you that now. Okay, now we will launch the Copley Motion Object software, a free download from the Copley Controls website. We come in here to CMO examples. You can see we have LabVIEW and others. We're going to look at VB.net. There are seven pre-built examples. We're going to use the blank the blank template to start from scratch. We come in here, the first thing we need to do is note that the CAN address is set to 1. I have set that on our unit. You can see AMP object, AMP settings, and AMP info are pre-built for us. These are variables that are assigned to the library. We're going to uncomment the Copley 0 as the CAN master. We are actually using a KVOS or USB to CAN leaf light, so he's uncomment out that. Now we can come, come back to the form. We're going to just put a couple buttons on here. We will do a enable and move button. So this will enable our motor and move it. And we will put another button that we'll use to read the position at the end. And now we will put on a little text box for reading that position. Okay, so we come in here and you can see right off the bat we will use the amp object variable that's been pre-created. 
and we will do an enable, and then we will do a move. And you can see lots of methods and properties pre-built for us to use. We're going to do a 200,000 count move. Of, this is a high resolution encoder. We'll now come back up, look here. Upon hitting this read position button, we will update that text box. Now we will look at the AMP object and it is position actual will be the encoder position. So now we run the application. You can see I will hit enable and moves. As I hit the read position, here our motor is settling out to the position we commanded. We can do another move and again read the position. So very simple. You don't need to know anything about can open SDO PDO packets. It's very simple to create an application using BB, LabVIEW, any type of environment that can use the CMO library. So again, please give us a call and enable us to uh, use our expertise on your next automation application. Thank you.